welcome to the next session on Access Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are going to analyze the piston assembly for a coupled structural and thermal analysis. We will see how to analyze the piston assembly using structural module and also by using steady state thermal module. We will see how to do a clubbed analysis of the two. We will first start with static structural. I'll first go to engineering data, engineering data sources, general materials. I'll choose aluminium alloy as the material and update the project. Next, I'll go to geometry and right click. I will import the geometry of piston assembly. Next, I'll go to model and double click on it. I'll first go to geometry and suppress the wrist pin and the snap rings. Then I'll allocate material to the connecting rod and the piston. Next I'll go to mesh and change the sizing to fine and update. Next, I will go to static structural and I will insert pressure on the top end of the piston. It is aligned along the z-axis. I will change normal to to components. Along z-axis, I will apply a pressure of 2 MPa in the downward direction. And on the big eye of the connecting rod, I will insert pick support. Next, I'll go to solution and insert deformation total. I also want to see the strain over the body. I want to see the stress generated over the body. I'll go to tools and insert stress tools such that I can see the safety factor. And also I will insert fatigue tool. I'll change mean stress theory to Goodman theory. Then I'll insert life and damage factor here. Next I'll go to solution and solve. We'll first see the result of total deformation. We'll remove the wire frame. You can see here the total deformation over the body is 0.16704 mm. This is the highest value of deformation on the body. You can click on max min so that you can see where the deformation is maximum and where it is minimum. The minimum value is 0 here. Obviously it is a fixed end so you will not find any deformation here. You can again click on max min so that these options disappear. Next, we will see the elastic strain over the body. The maximum value is 0.0024 and the minimum value is very very small. So on this body, you can see that the strain generated is really less. You can animate and check the result. Next. The stress value on this body is 170.14 MPa. The value is not that high when we are talking about aluminium alloy as the material. And the minimum value is 0.0038 MPa. 
at various zone you can see various values you can animate and check your result next we will see the safety factor over the body you can see that the body is safe in quite a few area except for some zone where the value is really less you can click on probe option and you can check the value here like here it is 4.67 and in the green zone it is showing 5.2069 so these are certain areas where you will find lesser safety factor but overall 4 and 5 is a decent value so your body will not be that unsafe if you don't want to see these values you can just right click and delete all options next we will go to fatigue tool and we'll see the life of this body the maximum life is 1 into 10 raised to 8 so the body is really safe under this amount of pressure. So the minimum cycle that you can see here is 1.56 into 10 to 5 cycles. We will see for how many cycles your body is designed. It is designed for 1 into 10 to 9 cycles. But it will not go on for that long. So this is one analysis that we have done of structural analysis. Now I will just go to the main screen and here we will select steady state thermal analysis we will drag and drop it over the first module this is called as multi physics which is present in ANSYS software next we will go to setup and double click on it the model screen opens up and here you can see that whatever structural analysis you have done is already present now we will go to steady state thermal and right click and insert temperature I'll first insert temperature on the piston head. This is maximum 500 degrees Celsius that we have applied. Next, I'll apply temperature on this zone that is of connecting rod. So, I will insert temperature again over here. This is say 250 to 300 degrees Celsius. Let's take 250 degrees Celsius. And on the connecting rod, we are going to insert convection. So we will select the surfaces on which we want to apply convection. I'll right click and insert convection here on these faces. I'll give a film coefficient of say 500 E minus 6. And I'll give ambient temperature as 40 degrees Celsius. Now I'll go to solution and I'll insert thermal temperature. Also I'll insert total heat flux. Now I'll go to solution and solve. We'll first go to temperature and here you can see a temperature variation over the piston assembly. The highest temperature is 500.16 degrees Celsius and the minimum value is 41.516 degrees Celsius. You can animate and check the result throughout the piston assembly. You will find various temperatures on it. You can click on probe and check the temperature over a particular zone. Next, we will go to total heat flux. Over the body, you can see a maximum heat flux of 2.7396 watt per mm square. And the minimum value is 8.7427 in the to minus 5 watt per meter square. Now, in this zone, we have not given a higher temperature. The heat is transferred from the top end to the bottom end. Hence, you will see that the temperature is quite cooler in this zone. And the convection factor is also low because the body itself is not very hot. So, obviously, it will not lose much heat to the ambience. 
so that is why the value of heat flux is less and whenever the temperature is high then you will find that the heat flux is more that is more heat is lost to the ambience with respect to the unit area so you can animate and check this result as well so that's how you do a coupled analysis of structural and thermal analysis with this i end the session i hope you have understood the analysis if you have any doubts please write to me in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon for latest video updates see you in the next session thank you